when you hear the best arms in bodybuilding who comes to mind. His arms are renowned, his height is just 5.5, and he has a nickname, the Giant Killer. His arm size is 22 inches, his chest size is 58 inches, and his waist is 30 inches. He's always been a Superman fan, and it started when he was a kid. Every year, my mother would make me a new suit and a cape for the dog, and I always had Superman stuff. He remembered. Priest's mother was also a bodybuilding competitor and posed with Priest on stage. Priest started training at the age of 12 with the help and support of his grandfather. He competed for the first time at the age of 13 and won. He went on to win numerous other competitions, leading up to his winning the IFBB Mr. Australia at 16, 17, 18, and 19. Priest competed at the World's Championship at 17, where he placed fourth. At 19, he again competed and won the Mr. Australia title, but was not allowed to get his pro card in Australia because of his young age. He moved to California at 20, having gained more than 70 pounds of muscle during his teenage years. It was then that Priest decided to enter an amateur competition, the Niagara Falls Championships. Lee Andrew McCutcheon won the 1989 and 1990 Australian Championships. He ended his amateur career by placing fourth at the 1990 World Amateur Championships. It would be three years before he made his IFBB, now known as the IFBB Pro League, debut at the 1993 Niagara Falls Pro Invitational, where he placed ninth overall. It was his only appearance that season. In 1994, Priest was invited to compete in the Arnold Classic for the first time. Kevin Lebron won the title. Priest placed seventh. Then Priest competed in four more shows, placing his highest fourth at the Ironman Pro. I just don't see it's fair. The day legend Lee Priest went against Mr. Olympia, prizing criteria to support fellow bodybuilders. The 49-year-old bodybuilder could not maintain a sculpted physique as he had to go into surgery for nerve damage in late 2017, which made him stop his bodybuilding training almost completely. Lee Priest began training in the gym in his early teens and his crazy genetics really showed through. He competed in his first contest at the age of 13 and won. He then won the Mr. Australia competition from 16, 19 years of age. Jay Cutler even commented that no one looked as crazy as Lee Priest did at 21 years of age. Lee continues to train in the gym to this day and is quite prevalent in the gym and bodybuilding scene to this day. until 2002 at the San Francisco Pro. He placed sixth at the Olympia that year, his final Olympia appearance. Coleman won that show for his fifth of eight Olympia titles. Priest's last full season in the IFBB Pro League was in 2005. He started the season by placing second at the Ironman Pro and fourth at the Arnold Classic. His second pro victory came on his home turf at the 2005 Grand Prix Australia. In 2014, Priest was involved in a car accident that resulted in a neck injury. Subsequent nerve damage forced Priest to undergo multiple surgeries, which prevented him from training for a long time. However, he recovered enough that he could resume training in recent years. Whether Priest returns to the stage in the future is unclear, but his photo certainly piqued the interest of many bodybuilding fans. So what do you think of these great bodybuilders and who has the potential to win the competition this year? Let us know in the comment section. Please like, subscribe, and share to MM Muscle, and press the bell icon for future updates. This is for the day. See you in the next video. Till the time, stay motivated and stay fit.